as an intune admin one of the biggest challenges is keeping users informed about important actions or upcoming activities on their devices whether it's a compliance reminder a pending update or a security alert users often miss these messages if we don't communicate effectively now imagine being able to immediately notify every user about things like device compliance reminder restart or update notifications software update alerts security warnings policy or configuration change notification license or subscription expire alerts business process reminders like training or survey access restrictions or lockout warnings disk space or storage alert pending training or compliance task upcoming company or it activities or events and many more in this video i will show you how to send custom pop up notification directly to users using intune via proactive remediation so they are always aware and can take timely actions so let's dive in so right now i am on my client machine and let me first show you the notification or the alert or pop up which i am talking about and then we will see how to configure and update in the intune portal so let me go to the intune portal and i have already created a demo script let me go to the script and then click on run remediation and now after some time user will able to see the notification right now we can see the notification we have the logo company logo we can modify this logo your immediate action is required your system is critical low on the disk space with less than 50 gb available to ensure optimum performance and avoid potential disruptions please take action immediately and here is the reference information you can point this reference information to any of the knowledge base article which is already present in your service now portal and user can click on this to close the notification and if they are clicking on the learn more notification it will redirect to any of the link which you are providing in the script and all of the things available in this notification we can customize it as per a requirement and if we click on the learn more it will redirect to the link provided in the script you can change the link and you can redirect the user to any of the article which you want user to follow and take the actions and if we go to the c drive and within the windows folder and if you go to the temp folder we can see that there is a custom lock created we see that demo disk space pop up dot lock we can customize this lock name and everything we can see the detection script and the remediation script output in the detection script we have configured if the disk space is less than 50 gb then trigger a notification and it is detecting that the free disk space is less than 50 gb that is why it is triggering a notification and in the remediation script we can see that user has read and closed the notification so this is how you can customize the detection script as per the requirement to send the notification to the user using intune protective remediation script so let me show you how to configure this so to do this first of all we have to create or update the detection and remediation script so let me open the powershell as an administrator and i have already downloaded the detection and remediation script in my download folder and i will provide you the script link in the description let me open the detection script and open the remediation script so within detection script you have to specify the user input section let's say if you are creating a notification for disk space then you have to specify the disk threshold in gb and this is the lock location i want to create a log in the c windows temp and this is the folder name you can customize this folder name as per your requirement and this is the lock name you can again customize this as per your requirement and in the bottom we just simply detecting the free disk space available on the machine and if the disk space is less than this then it will just just re trigger the remediation script
like if we exit with zero no remediation needed and if it is exit with one then remediation is required so that's all you have to do in the detection script and in the remediation script under the user input section you have to provide the company logo so this is the logo i have converted this in the string format base 64 string format and i will show you how to do that then here is the disk space threshold in my case i am detecting if disk space is is equal to or less than 50 and these are the notification information which you have to update it as per your requirement like i am sending a notification for low disk space that's why this is my content but in your case if you want to change the notification for reboot notification or for any other notification you have to adjust this notification as per your requirement and in the last we have to provide the pop-up or the folder location now let's see how to convert the logo in the base 64 string so think about a scenario where i want to convert this logo you can use any logo but think about that i want to convert this logo as per my requirement so first of all what you have to do you have to change or adjust the size of this logo so for that what i am going to do i am going to resize this image and let me go for 100 width and height and click on save so this way we can customize the logo size let me save it in the download folder only okay now let me open the new one you can see the size is very small now we have to convert this logo so how to convert this logo into the base 64 you have to copy the path of this logo let me copy the path copy as path and and paste it in the powershell I have already provided a command line here in this script copy this and you just need to update this command line so this is my image and I want to convert into the text format let me go to and type the the txt and then just run this entire line and if you go to the download folder and refresh the folder now we can see that we have a text file and if you open this and now we have this entire string which is nothing but the logo information you have to select all and copy and then you have to go to the remediation script and in remediation script you have to just update this and click on so that's it now we have updated the logo we have the right threshold and we have the adjusted notification message also now we have to save this now let's create the proactive detection script in the intune portal so let me go to the intune portal go to the devices and within devices go to the scripts and remediation click on create provide the notification name click on next and then update the detection script and the remediation script which we already have in my download folder and then important thing that you have to run this script using the logged on credential and run script in the 64-bit powershell click on next click on next and you can assign this script on a particular group of devices but for now i am going to trigger the on demand protective remediation and click on create now we have created the notification remediation script so let me go to the device and this is my device click on the three dots run remediation and then custom pop-up notification click on that and click on run now remediation is script initiated let's wait for a few minutes and then we will be able to see the notification now we can see the notification 
same notification loco and then immediate action is required and all the other notification message and in the reference we have the link so that's how you can create and send the custom notification to all your devices or users as per your requirement